Daddy, daddy. Uh, daddy, I've, I've removed the dada. I now look like you. You know, it's been a while since I, you know, the last time I came. Yeah. I, was, I, was, I was thinking you were scared of me. So, <laughs> so I had to go remove the, the dada because I was just wondering, ah, they're not calling me again. So, 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 I said, let me go and remove it. Immediately, I was even still in the Babin Saloon when they called me. I said, okay, now I know where my problem is coming from. This, uh, after the testimony I came to give that time, I wanted to really share the testimony with you. And because that one I came to thank God. And this time now I came to complain. <laughs> because now I, now I know what you are going through. Because since I won that competition, First of all, they, the first thing they gave to me was the car before the money. The moment they gave me the car, fuel price increased. I don't know. I don't know why. My own things are always different. No, my own, my own things are always different. Even that pastor I was telling you about, eh, at least now he now uses for example. So when I asked him, I said, why are you still using for example? And he said, when my looks are better than this, he will stop using for example. He will start using for instance. So, yeah. so like I was saying, sir, only this week, that, see, there is no problem that people have not told me they have since I collected that money. Only five million no. Only five minutes. Only, only last week, like 13 people DM'd me. They said they have kidney problem. <laughs> yeah. then, uh, four of them, four of them said they have liver problem. So one of them, he did not even message me, came to me direct. He said his, his mother swallowed spoon. So, yeah. he, said that, he said they are looking for money to do surgery to remove the spoon from the mother's throat. And so, when he was talking, I really felt for him because in this house we are all givers. You understand? So, I felt for him and I told him, I said, ah. I don't understand the way people just swallow things anyhow these days. I said, even my, my mother, I don't know. That was how she went to swallow two shovel. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And the, the shovel is not even our own. We hired it. So the owners are looking for the shovel now. So we don't know what to do. That was, that was the excuse I gave him. So, so I've, I've decided. I've decided that since they want to kill me because of the money. So I've decided. Because I know that anything that comes to you always increase. Always move forward. So say let me come and give you the money. <laughs> Give you the five million so that when I'm going, you give me ten million. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not like I want your money or that, but it's just that I know that you don't give things the same way they gave it to you. So you just give me a hand. Just like that. So I will leave you and mommy to discuss about it. Yeah. Who knows? She may even say you should make it 15. 
Jesus. Man. <laughs> Just say. These are the things you teach us in business class now. You invest wisely. And that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> uh, uh, that is you. I've, I've noticed that money cannot change my issue. Mm. Because during the lockdown, police people employed me. Uh, they, they said I should come and be working with them. So I asked them what kind of job should I do. They said uh, I should be helping them to interrogate criminals. And any, anyone that refused to say the truth, I should interrogate. I told them I don't know how to interrogate. They said, no, I should not say anything. I should just sit down and look at them. They will confess. Uh, uh, after, after like two weeks, the DPO came to me. He said, it's like I will stop working with them. And yeah, so I asked him why. He said, said, I make the criminals to confess the things they did not do. He, he even said, he said, now nah, one of them is confessing that he was the one that poisoned the bacha. You know the kind of it's because see that there was there was this there was one of my teacher when I was in school. And she was the reason I didn't finish primary school. And she she hated me for no reason. She would just come to the class and ask hard question so that when I fail, she would have a reason to flog me. And she she would just come and ask, say, who can tell me the name of the wife of the vice president of Rwanda? And just like nobody knows it here now. That's how. That's how I used to. <laughs> Thank you very much. God bless you. As the saying goes, variety is the spice of life. Thank you, Mr.